3D softwares like Blender versus AI, who wins the race? For several years, Blender has been the best and the most preferred tool for 3D artists, game developers, animators, but now AI is changing the game. With tools like Nvidia Get 3D, OpenAI Shape E, and other similar softwares, anyone can generate 3D models instantly. No sculpting, no modeling, no topology, or basically no effort. So does this mean that this is finally the end of Blender artists? Or is there more to the story? Let's dive deep into this. But before starting, if you are a Blender artist, a 3D enthusiast, or you just love cool designs, then do check out the JB3D Studio Merc Store. We have got exclusive Blender and 3D themed hoodies, stickers, bags, and other accessories. All this to level up your creative journey. Apart from this, you can also get high quality 3D models, Blender files with materials, textures, and other digital products all put together on this Merc Store. So whether you want to show off your 3D passion or grab some must-have creative tools, there is something for everyone on this store. Also, use the code WELCOME30 to get flat 30% off on all the orders. Every purchase directly supports the channel and helps me keep creating more valuable content to help you in your Blender journey. AI-powered 3D creation is evolving at a lightning speed. Text-to-3D generators allow users to type a prompt, for example a 3D character, a dragon, a sword, or maybe a tree, and get a fully formed model in seconds. Even Blender itself allows integrating AI features, for example add-ons, which can render AI-generated images based on a text prompt and that too within the Blender software. All this sounds like a revolution, but is AI-generated 3D stuff really that good? So no doubt, AI models are fast, but are they actually good? Let's take a closer look. While AI tools can generate a model in seconds, its topology is often a complete mess, with triangulated faces, poor edge loops, disconnected geometry, and if you have ever worked with 3D models, you would certainly know how important clean topology is for animation, sculpting, and game development. Due to all these issues like a bad topology, limited control, broken UV maps, poorly applied textures, we can easily conclude that game-ready assets, VFX characters, and professional 3D work would still need Blender artists for perfection. But this is just one side of the story, because it does not mean that the 3D stuff generated by AI is completely useless. While on one hand it is true that AI struggles with precision, but on the other hand it definitely excels at speed, making it a very powerful tool for generating background assets like trees, rocks, buildings, and other things that don't need close-up detail. Another important use can be to generate NPCs in games and films. Let's suppose you have a scene where apart from the main character, you have to create a crowd of let's say 100 or 1000 people in Blender or any 3D software. And for such things, using AI generated 3D models and characters can save a lot of work and time. Till now we can conclude that AI is just a tool and not a replacement. Even with all the advancements, AI still lacks one crucial thing, which is creativity. AI can definitely learn from the existing patterns and give the result, but it cannot drive innovations which a human mind can do. Blender artists bring emotion, style, and storytelling with which AI can never compete. So AI is fast, but Blender or 3D artists are precise. AI is automated, but Blender and 3D artists are creative. AI is random, but Blender or 3D artists have the ultimate control. So at the end of the day, technology evolves, but art is for and by the humans. The real future isn't AI versus Blender, it's actually AI plus Blender. AI would speed up the boring and the repetitive tasks, but the final touch still belongs to the human artists. Even if in the future, animation studios begin to use 3D AI tools, but remember, their best work still relies on the real human artists. Coming back to the first question, is this the end of Blender or any 3D software? Not at all. In fact, it's just the beginning. AI will definitely keep improving, but it will never replace the true artists. And yes, I would like to know, what do you think about this topic? Will AI take over 3D modeling or will Blender remain the king of the 3D industry? Drop your thoughts in the comments and if you want to master Blender then do check out my latest courses from the link in the description and the pinned comment. And so don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more such videos, smash the like button and press that notification bell to get the latest updates. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.